Hey, good evening. I guess so. Happy New Year's, everyone. I want to wish everybody a happy New Year's, New Year's Day. This is Greg Master from the 5 a.m. Master Scrum Show. It is not 5 a.m., though. It is 10.48 p.m. on the Eastern Standard Time. It's probably 2nd of January, but it's 1st of January. This is our 497th episode. Um, no way I was going to do anything early because we were up. The kids were even up past midnight. Celebrate the new year, and it was been a long day. Um, it was nice out a little bit. We have our mummers. So maybe I'll put a video up there so you can see what the mummers are like. Mostly just people that run around on the street, go down. Yes, they were breaking the uh, dreaded thing that I can't talk about. and um, But that's okay. It's not too bad. It was outdoors. Everybody walking around. No one staying in one place for too long. Shouldn't be bad. But anyway. Hey, it's a new year, right? And I wanted to go on and go because this is the first day. I didn't want to like not go because we go pretty much every day. Anyway, who are we? We're the 5 a.m. Master Scrum Show, and we talk about Scrum and Agile in a practical and tactical way. So you can bring value to customer, not work 60, 80 hours a week, and get home to family and friends and have some fun, right? So um, I just wanted to come on. And say, hey, we got a new year, new plans. I wrote some things. I got a new notebook. I kind of showed that. So I got new plans for new book. I got some content for upcoming episodes. Kind of sketched down here what's coming up. And, uh, you know, I posted up because new, uh, <laughs> new Year's Eve, right? Is it New Year's Eve? Day before New Year's Eve. Hey, Sean. Happy New Year. Um. I got my one day's notice for termination, right? So it was like, oh, man, I was pissed. And um, we said what it was. But you know what? Opportunities show up. I shared on LinkedIn, see what's going on. I even had people remind me of things I posted up. They said, hey, Greg, did you talk to so-and-so? Because we were both connected to one of the one of the persons in like the Pittsburgh job. So who knows? I might be end up doing some work with Pittsburgh. Um, but my wife has this for me stuff to do. <laughs> She's like, you're not going anywhere until you work on the stuff on the house that you haven't done because you've been working. So I think my first week I'm going to be doing that. But there's always new opportunities out there. Even though I get done a month early, no big deal. I just treat it as a vacation. So as a consultant, I have vacation. I do my rate and include vacation time. So I'm going to treat it as a vacation, get some stuff done, do some growth opportunities where I think the new year's coming. Maybe you all can help me out. I'm debating whether or not I want to go get my SPC certification. I know some people are pro safe. Some people are against safe. Um, a lot of work out there related to safe. You know, sometimes it's about having a job and consulting and maybe you can do better with them. Even though it's keep them on an agile mentality, right? So let me know. I'm going to put this on LinkedIn later. You can comment, should I get an SPC cert? Should I not get an SPC cert? Um, talking to one of my uh, coworkers on the Clear Systems group. So I'm going to go and get my certification this week and brush up on it for doing virtual training. So hopefully I'll go back and do some training, get that prep why I'm not in. Um, working full time, so it gives me a whole week at least to get all that stuff done. So there's a lot of things out there that could come up and be good and help me get there. And maybe I'll get a cert. Maybe I'll take my PSM exam. I talk about it a lot, so I might take my PS ex PSM exam um, because I have a lot of Scrum Masters that work for me. Some have a CSM, some have a PSM, and I'm really big on experiencing what everybody else experiment experiences so I know what I'm talking about or I can relate to what they're doing or I, I know validness of what they have done. It's like if they got training, is the training any good? Does it make sense? Did they teach them all wrong? You know, a good perspective. And then you can ask questions when you do interviews with these people that are working. Um, and I will say my connections are really good because I – like I said, I had a couple connections remind me of my 
posts and say, Greg, did you talk to them about like the Pittsburgh job or this or send me an email, send me your resume, Greg. So a lot of this stuff is kind of working. Um, got a lot of views, a lot of thanks, a lot of likes, and I appreciate everyone on my LinkedIn pages for liking my post about time to switch transition jobs and, and what's out there. So the more people share it, the more people see it. So I do appreciate that very much. And I thank you all my connections and just make sure everybody understands in the new year, 2020 was a rough year, 2021 probably going to be a rough year too, at least in the beginning first next six months, but um, let everybody know you're not alone. And if you ever need any help, feel free to message me, text me, be happy to help where I can. If you need some coaching and some thoughts, send me a note, post something on LinkedIn, put my name in it. Say, Greg, what do you think about this? I'd be more than happy to let um, give my two cents for what it's worth. Um, if you need any coaching on stuff or how to do things, more than happy to do so. Again, I have five spots here in the Philadelphia area for people who want uh, some free coaching. Uh, more than welcome to take advantage of it. I do got to put a clip out there and LinkedIn advertise a little bit because you got to penetrate who shows up and sees it. So I'll probably do that this week since I have time. Hoping to blow, blow up and cut up a bunch of videos. So I'll make some small clip videos from previous shows that we've done and post them up. So there's a lot of things I'm going to be doing next week that's already filling up my list besides all my honeydew chores. So there's a lot of good stuff out there. So 2021, you know, I got this new calendar, right? I want to show you something. There ain't nothing in the future. Why isn't there anything? In the because you never know what the future is going to play. I could have filled this whole thing with ideas. But did I know what I was going to get one, one day notice? No, things change. That's why in Scrum and Agile, we don't really plan out that far. We don't make that big of a backlog. Because the market, what's happening may change from day to day. So just want to share that with you. And again, I want to wish you all a happy new year. Need any questions, any thoughts, feel free to message me. You know me. I'm open to talk about anything, any question anybody has. I buy with it. I don't judge anybody. I give you my thoughts, my questions. I'll ask you questions and things like that. I'm a coach is what we do and uh, challenge you to figure things out. And just like I need to be challenged myself to figure out stuff. So that's all I want to share today. I think, I think that's all. I don't want to mumble. Um, please give us a thumbs up. If you like the show, we are going to put a lot of stuff up there next week when my wife's like, I got to get some stuff done first. And I hope they did it. Ring a little bell. If you'd like to hear when we go, live because like in this case it's not 5 30 it's about 10 30 we went live sometimes that happens trying to do it stay early in the morning get up early get some stuff done just like work right you don't like not do stuff so now i have eight hours a day to do all the things i wanted to do instead of working for the my past company which is fine which is good because then i can do some training um again things change right that's why i love agile man Stay on your toes. You never know what it is. You can plan far out you want, but you know, those plans are always in jeopardy to change. So I want to wish you all again, happy new year, thumbs up, take care of yourselves, spend some time with family and friends. And I wish you all the best of health in the new year. And I guess that's about it. And I will see you later. Take care. Happy scrumming. See you tomorrow. I do got the next two days stuff written on my calendar. We'll see how that goes. All right. Bye. See ya.